How's it going folks? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, and I've been doing a lot of router reviews, and I have not been too pleased with the new AX speeds. I expected more from them. I'm getting about 30 megabytes a second on local transfer, which uh, I can also get on AC band. So I want to take a step back and see how older routers compare when it comes to local speed. Local speed should absolutely be the fastest. When I'm testing these new AX or Wi-Fi 6 units, they boast that they have superior your speed. I have AX cards in all my computers so they should be performing at superior speeds. However, they do not. So I'm checking out this old school ASUS um, RT-NIO. I'm going to hook this thing up. I'm going to try out the speeds and see how they compare to things that have come out today. So let's take a look. Alright, so Fortnite plays good. I've been through about three rounds of it. I have not had any lag at all when I hook this unit up directly to the hardwire. I do get lag issues though. So once again, wireless is better than, uh, than my hardwire on this one. Once again, this is an N type router. Not having any lags. Good stuff here. So yeah, the gaming's going good, I gotta say. I got that uh, hooked up. I do not have a dual NAT type or a strict NAT type. It's an open NAT type. I have uh, 10 megabytes download and 10 megabytes upload. Sorry, 10 megabits download upload on my Xbox. And over here, when we go from the system to system test, one test I like to do is transfer wirelessly from my Alexandrian backup to my workstation and I am getting a speed. Well, I'm not even managing to download stuff, but I'm usually getting generally a speed of one megabyte a second. Or mega, megabit? No, megabyte. So here on speedtest.net, you can see we don't have a very good download or upload, but still, this seems to be good enough for, I'd say, a bachelor. I mean, I got uh, my family, we're not downloading a whole lot right now, and I'm not getting a whole lot of complaints about it today. Not bad. However, if you were trying to stream at 4K and your kids knew what 4K looked like, and I don't know how they would, then they might not like this too much. I definitely don't think you can pull down 4K with the, these specs. But I gotta say, so far I'm really not seeing much of a lag. The only lag that I'm seeing is from the computer-to-computer uh, -computer transfer protocol. As you can see, I am still trying to transfer that file from unit to unit. Yeah... Alright, now let's check out the wireless spectrum and see where this ASUS router decided to put itself. And it is in business for itself. You can see it crossing over uh, your fault in Aris. And it's just, it's not even within its own arcs. It's crossing over everything it can find. That is definitely not good. Let's try out the signal. So I'm in a townhouse and right now the router is in the back of the house and I am in the main floor. The router's in the basement. I'm on the main floor now on the other side of the place and uh, we're starting to lose area. We're starting to lose signal. Now I'm upstairs kitty corner to the place where uh, the router is in the basement and as you can see I've lost the signal so that's pretty standard. It seems like with any router you get you need to put it on the main floor and not in the basement or you're going to have a bad time. Okay, so ultimately at the end of this test, what we can tell is that if you have wireless N and it's working for you, don't worry about change and just stick with it. Just keep going. However, if your wireless N isn't getting you what you want, if you have too many people on your network and you're having trouble, you definitely want to switch it up. But upgrading to wireless AX isn't for everyone. You can still get by if you have been getting by and just save your money. Upgrade when you need to. But ultimately... That's what I'm thinking. The only thing I really don't like about this is it uh, it can't pull off 4K. It can't uh, handle too many people being on it. And it can't handle um, transferring at more than one megabyte a second from system to system. That's it for me, folks. Like and subscribe if you like stuff. And as always, folks, take care of each other. Woo!